Chinese tech firm Quickwheel has officially launched the Skyrider X6, an innovative tilting three-wheeled amphibious flying motorcycle developed by its sub-brand Richtor. Unveiled for pre-orders via major online marketplace JD.com, the Skyrider X6 is priced at 498,800 yuan, which is approximately 69,000 US dollars. This ambitious vehicle blurs the lines between personal mobility and aviation, combining electric ground transportation with vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, flight capabilities. The Skyrider X6 is a dual-mode reverse trike capable of functioning both on land and in the air. On the ground, the vehicle uses a mid-mounted electric motor with rear-wheel drive, reaching a top speed of 70 km per hour and offering a CLTC-rated range of up to 200 km. In the air, it utilizes a six-axis, six-rotor electric propulsion system to reach a maximum flight speed of 72 km per hour with an estimated flight time of about 20 minutes. These specifications make it a compelling solution for short-range commuting, urban mobility, and emergency rescue scenarios. Built with weight efficiency in mind, the Skyrider X6 incorporates carbon fiber composites and aviation-grade aluminium alloy in its chassis and frame. This lightweight design is crucial to balancing road handling performance with flight capabilities. The reverse strike layout also provides added stability on the road, while the tilting mechanism helps with agile cornering and maneuverability. The flight functionality of the Skyrider X6 introduces several advanced features. The VTOL capability is designed for fully automated takeoff, landing, cruising, and route planning. Experienced pilots can also opt for manual flight operation using an integrated joystick. Safety is a top priority for Quickwheel, and the X6 includes redundant propulsion and flight control systems to mitigate risk in case of component failure. Each rotor is powered by an independent motor, so even if one fails, the vehicle can maintain controlled flight. Furthermore, the flight control system includes a backup logic processor that helps stabilize the vehicle during turbulent conditions or minor system malfunctions. Perhaps the most critical safety feature is the inclusion of a ballistic parachute system. This emergency system is designed to deploy automatically in the event of a catastrophic failure or rapid loss of control, providing a last line of defense for occupant safety. Additionally, the Skyrider X6 10.5 kWh battery pack supports standard automotive-grade DC fast charging. The full charge time is approximately one hour, making it practical for frequent use with minimal downtime. The Skyrider X6 follows Quickwheel's earlier flying motorcycle prototype, the Skyrider X1, which debuted at CES 2025. The X1 featured a different aerial configuration, using a four-axis, eight-rotor system for flight. Two versions of the X1 are also available. X1 SL, equipped with a 10.5 kWh semi-solid battery, this version delivers up to 25 minutes of flight time. X1 SX, offers a larger 21 kWh battery, providing up to 40 minutes or a maximum flight range of 50 km. Both X1 variants support 50 kW DC fast charging, achieving an 80% charge in 30 minutes. They also incorporate advanced safety technologies, including a triple redundant flight controller, real-time battery management, and a 0.3-second emergency parachute deployment system. The Skyrider lineup as a whole is aimed at offering fast, flexible, and environmentally sustainable urban air mobility. According to Quickwheel, aerial commuting offers significant time savings. For instance, a typical trip from Pudong to Puxi in Shanghai, which can take up to 90 minutes by car, could be shortened to just 15 minutes using a flying motorcycle like the X6. This dramatic time reduction could be a game-changer for urban commuters, medical transport, and emergency responders. However, several challenges still remain before vehicles like the Skyrider X6 can become mainstream. One major issue is regulatory approval. As of 2025, civilian low-altitude airspace, under 200 meters, is still largely restricted in China. Operating the Skyrider X6 legally in flight mode will require changes to national aviation laws and the establishment of dedicated flight corridors for low-altitude personal aircraft. Furthermore, prospective pilots will need to obtain a light sport aircraft, LSA, license to operate the X6. The training and certification process involves significant time and financial investment, with costs estimated at around 50,000 yuan, roughly 6,900 US dollars. These requirements may limit early adoption to enthusiasts and professionals rather than the general public. Operating costs for the Skyrider X6 are estimated at 3 yuan, approximately 41 cents, per kilometer in flight mode.
Annual maintenance is projected to range between 20,000 and 30,000 yuan, 2,800 to 4,200 US dollars, covering wear and tear, software updates, and battery health monitoring. The Skyrider X6 enters a highly niche but rapidly developing market for personal flying vehicles. Its primary competitor in China is Xpeng Aero HT, a subsidiary of EV maker Xpeng Motors. Aero HT has been developing its own flying car concepts, including a model priced at approximately 1.2 million yuan, about 166,000 US dollars, more than double the price of the Skyrider X6. This significant price difference could make Quickwheels offering more appealing to early adopters seeking a balance of affordability and advanced features. The unveiling of the Skyrider X6 marks another bold step toward the commercialization of flying vehicles in China. As urban congestion grows and the demand for innovative mobility solutions intensifies, vehicles like the Skyrider X6 could redefine short-distance travel. With cutting-edge engineering, robust safety measures, and a dual-use design, the Skyrider X6 showcases what the future of transport may soon look like where roads end, the sky begins.